What's up everybody, Chris Lee back with another United Destiny Entertainment tutorial video. Hey, check this out. If you're new to this channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell to get more videos like this in the future. So what's up guys, Chris Lee back with another video. What I'm going to be doing in this video is pretty much showing you guys how to get the best 4K streaming settings out of OBS using your M1 Mac Mini. Now for me, I know I was a little bit confused myself because I tried to look at a lot of different videos and it wasn't really super clear to me. So I had to do what worked best for me and I had to just kind of keep testing it out. And then once I found a good setting, I just decided to go ahead and share it with other people. And that's what I want to do just in case you guys are confused. So guys, let's go ahead and jump into it right now. You don't have to stress about it. I think it's going to be a pretty simple setup. And I think if this works for me, then it's probably going to work for you. Okay. Now, right off the bat, if you want to know exactly what I'm utilizing right now, I'm using a Canon M6 Mark II uh, camera. And I'm also using the M1 Mac Mini. Uh, this is a 16 gigs, 256 uh, gigabyte hard drive. If you experiment with the 8 gigabyte uh, memory, just kind of let me know and see how that goes. But right now, let's go ahead and jump into it right now. All right, guys. So right off the bat, um, I just want to go ahead and show you guys my settings. As you can see, I'm using my USB microphone. And then I also have my uh, Canon M6 as my actual main webcam camera because it just looks great great quality it's better than use a using a webcam if you don't have anything else it doesn't matter use your iphone your samsung phone your webcam whatever the case may be it's totally up to you all right so let's go into the settings really quick and just to kind of show you guys what my settings are i'm just pretty much going to go through and you can kind of copy this as much as you can okay so if you go down to stream I'm obviously streaming to my YouTube because that's where I want to stream. Yours may be Twitch or whatever. Just make sure that you copy over your stream key and it'll basically link to that website and you'll be good to go. Okay. Now, as far as the output, this is going to be very important. Your output, you want to make sure that this tab uh, says advanced. Okay. So you click it here and you change it to advanced. Okay. Go to the streaming tab. And once you go to the streaming tab, you want to make sure that um, as you can see, everything that I have here, since I'm recording right now, I won't be able to change it. But for me, I'm using an Apple VT H264 hardware encoder. I tried H.264 and for whatever reason, I was getting choppiness while I was doing my videos or my live streaming. So once I changed it to VT H264, everything just happened to work from there. Okay. Your resolution output, I'm using a 4K. Uh, camera 4k monitor. Uh, I want my output to be 4k. So that's what I'm pretty much using in this process And then a bit rate if you want to leave this at 2500 You can leave that as that and as far as the keyframe interval you can leave that as well Okay, this is going to be important as well. Once you go to the recording tab These are the settings that I have so I have it to where it's going to my recording path of course uh, my audio track and then I have the Recording format as mp4. I recommend you use an mp4 to be kind of the easiest file for every program To read if you're going to be editing it. Okay, the encoder here. I have the same thing It's Apple VTH 264 hardcore and hardware encoder I'm using that and then the re the rescale output You don't want to check that in my particular case I don't want to check it because I want it to be the full 4k resolution uh, as my output. I don't want to downscale it to anything like 1080p, but that may be the case for you. It just depends on what your system can handle. Okay, so down here for the bit rate, I have mine at 40,000. That's a really good sweet spot for me and my videos, especially my live stream has been like crystal clear. So I recommend that you utilize that well, especially utilize that as well, especially if you have the same system that I have. And then the keyframe interval, I have mine at two and I have my profile on main and I have used B frames checked. OK. Um, anything else that I need to show as far as that, that should be good to go. My audio tab, you don't have you can leave all these disabled if you want to and just kind of set it up down here. The audio tab, you can kind of leave all these disabled and just set it up down here by clicking a plus button and adding, you know, uh, audio input, if that's what you want to do. But mine for this particular case, 
I just have my mic auxiliary audio input as my USB microphone, my file find, which is a great microphone. If you're interested, I'll have a link in the description box. Um, it's a great microphone. I don't need to touch it or change anything. As far as your video, you want to make sure that whatever your resolution that you're going for, you're shooting in, that is going to match. So for me, in this particular case, it's 3840 by 2160. I have them both uh, scaled to the same thing, base and output. And then my aspect ratio is obviously 16 by 9. And then for the downscale filter, for me, the I think it's La Laxo or however you say that, sharpen scaling 36 samples works best for me in this situation. Like I said, my videos are crystal clear, no choppiness, no none of that. That works best for me. And then you can go with 30 or 60 frames per second. Uh, I just happen to go with 30. That's just the most common that I've always shoot. Uh, that I always shoot my videos in so that works best for me and that's pretty much it like anything else you don't even have to touch anything else you don't have to go in and change anything if you do decide to go and change your color space uh, 709 I think works best in my opinion I don't really have to touch anything else I pretty much leave everything as is and then you just hit okay or you apply apply those effects and you you should be good to go all right, guys, so that's pretty much it for the video. If you enjoyed the video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Leave me some comments and let me know what you think. Did these tips help you out? If so, please apply them. Leave me some comments. Give me a thumbs up. Share this video because some other people out there may need help and be just as puzzled as I was trying to figure it out. So I really want to... I really wanted to help you guys out by giving you these tips because I feel like my stream looks uh, amazing. Uh, I think the quality is good. The audio, no choppiness, no none of that stuff. So I think if these tips work for me, then they're definitely going to work for you. So guys, apply them and let me know if you have any issues. I would love to know in the comment section. And if you have any better settings or anything that you recommend that I can do, please let me know so I can share those tips with other people because we all are a community of people who just want to grow and get better and, you know, make our channels look better and our videos look better. We want the experience to be awesome. So we must help each other out. We don't have to, but it'd be a good idea. You help me and I help you. Okay. So guys, thank you for watching my videos. Be sure to check out my other videos. And as always stay tuned for the next video.